Hey guys, uh, super excited to have Mindy on board to uh, talk to everybody. Um, she's been crushing it. She's been killing it. Me and her went back and forth with a competition competition a couple weeks ago. Um, and, you know, she was just dropping bombs after bombs after bombs, uh, doing awesome, doing the same thing this week. Already, like Kyle said, already over 15,000. It's just Wednesday. Um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Mindy now. Um, here's what Kyle said has to say about Mindy. Um, Mindy is awesome. You know, she's a great mom to her kids and has shown that you can be successful here with no direct sales background. As long as you can work hard or coachable or disciplined and work hard, whether you feel like it or not. She's a great leader here and leads from the front. She has a heart for helping others. So, uh, Mindy, are you are you on? I am. Awesome. Thank you for being on this morning. Thank you for being our, our guest speaker. Um, Mindy, how long have you been with Family Heritage? Um, I've been with Family Heritage for about a year and a half now. September will make two years. Awesome. Awesome. What did you do before you came to Family Heritage? Uh, I did retail off and on for about 15 years. Um, I was running a Claire's accessory store as a store manager um, previous to this. That's awesome. And uh, where are you from? As well? uh, uh, from a little bit of everywhere. I've moved around a lot from South Carolina, North Carolina. I lived um, in New York for a little bit in Virginia. That's awesome. That's awesome. Where do you, where do you currently live? Asheboro, North Carolina. Asheboro. Awesome. Awesome. So Mindy, what appealed to you most uh, about family her heritage? Why did you want to come work here? Well, I really liked when I talked to Kyle in my initial interview, I really liked that I could get paid what I was worth. I was making next to nothing being a store manager and working 70 hours a week, um, never getting to see my kids, getting to spend time with them. Um, so the flexibility and uh, the it enabled me to be able to do that and to have a career where I could really, you know, step it up and help my husband provide a better life for my family that really appealed to me. That's awesome. That's awesome. What is your favorite part about working? It's the protecting families. That's got to be my favorite part because I get to help people every day. I kind of, I finally feel like I'm making a difference in people's lives as opposed to just selling them, you know, accessories mm -hmm. and things like that. So enable, you know, um, I'm able to help people every single day and be who I really wanted to be really makes this job or this career so much better. For sure. For sure. Mindy, um, tell me a little bit about how you're working right now. Is it more referrals? Is it more, you know, setting up enrollments? Are you cold calling still a lot? Like what is, what is your day-to-day -day kind of look like? I'm working mostly off referrals and reservicing now. Um, like the businesses that I've been working in have been referral. Um, that's how I got into how I'm able to do so much right now is because I got referrals from other store managers to send me to other stores. <laughs> um, excuse me. So yeah, that's mainly what I'm working off now. Um, I don't do as much cold calling these days um, just because I don't have a lot of time for it. For sure. For sure. <clears throat> Can you give us a quick little snapshot of what does that look like whenever, you know, you're working with a business, you've done an enrollment or you've, you've signed up the, the business owner. Um, what does that look like whenever you're asking for, you know, other business referrals? Well, I just tell them, you know, you love this product so much. You loved what we did and how I interacted with all of your staff. Um, and I would like to do this for other stores. Um, what can I do or who do you think would allow me to come in and talk to their employees? Um, and I was able to get four other stores taken care of do, just talking to them like that. Um, just going off of what we do, how I interacted with their employees, what they liked about it. Um, they really saw a great thing um, and they love me being there. So I get the store managers. They tell me they can't believe that, you know, I'm taking all this time to talk to their employees and they love what I'm doing. Um, so I have the store manager's full support 
And without that, you're not going to be able to get referrals into other stores. You're not going to be able to get that that relationship, build that relationship with them. And I have a really great relationship with that. That's awesome. That's gold right there. That is gold. Um, when did that switch happen for you where you went from, you know, cold calling every day to mainly just working, you know, referrals and uh, resurfacing, working with your warm market businesses? When did that kind of switch happen? I'd say probably about four to six months ago, um, I started working mainly off of referrals about that time, um, just going in and doing a lot of resurfacing. And when I did the resurfacing, I talked to the store managers in order to get referrals to other places. So I'd say about four to six months ago. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, Mindy, you're killing it this year. What has really helped you get to that next level? I'd say pure determination, honestly. Um, when it's come down to it, um, I was out for quite a while due to my health um, and I wasn't able to work much. And when I was able to finally start working full time again, I realized that I really wanted to come back and be a force for good. I really wanted to help as many families as I possibly could. Um, so pure determination. Um, I set my hours, I set my goals for the week and I'm determined I'm not going home until I complete those. That's great. That's great. Um, what does that look like for you? Like, what are your goals, you know, each week? What are you, uh, what is your non-negotiables, your hours, your demos? What does that look like for you? Uh, well, I want to do at least 25 to 30 demos each week. Um, my goal is to green out each week. So that's my new goal for this year is to green out each and every week. Um, I've done that every week for the last little while now um, since I got back to working full time. So, and I'm going to continue to do that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, morning routines are super, super important here. You know, um, doing the same thing every single morning to pretty much guarantee your success. What does your morning routine look like? Sadly, that's where I'm little, I'm lacking a little bit. Um, I don't have a great morning routine and I'm very honest about it. Okay. Um, that's the downfall. I could really work on that. Um, but my morning routine basically is I'm getting up, I'm getting ready. I'm feeding all of my animals and I'm getting out the door as quickly as possible. Um, that's pretty much what my morning routine looks like. Um, I want to be out in the field as soon as possible. So most of the time I'm leaving by 730 at the latest. Um, some days like today, I have an appointment. Um, so I'm not leaving just yet. I'll be leaving as soon as this calls over, but I like to be out of the house by seven 30. So whatever helps me do that, I'm out as quick as I can, but hey, I could sadly, I could work on my morning routine. That's for sure. That sounds like a pretty good morning routine right there. Out the door <laughs> by seven thirty, getting everything done that you need to get done at the house. That sounds like a pretty good morning routine. Um, Mindy, what are your goals to finish out this year? Goals are huge in this career. Um, we're always aiming for something. So what are, what are your goals to finish this year out with? Well, I'd like to finish with as many families protected as I can. Um, and I'm kind of starting to sit down and see about how many families I think I can protect each week. Um, so I can kind of get a goal in mind. Um, but as far as my premium, I'd really like to write 300000 this year. Um, that's my main goal. And I'd like to hit market director by the end of the year. That's awesome. That's awesome. You can definitely do that. Just keep doing exactly what you're doing. So at a high level, you can definitely do that. Um, Mindy, where, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, definitely still, of course, with family heritage, I'm not going anywhere. I love this company. Um, so as far as where I see myself, probably regional director or agency owner, I really like to take after Kyle because um, Kyle's such a great agency owner and I'd like to follow in his footsteps and do what he's doing. Um, and he hit agency owner fairly quickly. So um, if I can at least be a regional director or agency owner, that's where I'd like to go. Yeah, that was actually going to be my next question, um, you know, asking if you wanted to move up. Uh, do you have a timeline of when you want to move up to, you know, market director, regional director, agency owner? What does that look like for Mindy Dillon? Well, I'd like, my goal is to hit a um, market director by the end of the year, um, regional director by the end of next year, 
and then just go from there. For sure, for sure. Um, <clears throat> Mindy, what, what most excites you about uh, your career here? I mean, we have a, a great opportunity, the best opportunity in America here. Um, what gets you excited to get up every morning and be out the door by 7.30? My kids, honestly, um, because since I started with this, we've been able to do so much more than we've ever been able to do. Um, we take more vacations. I take, you know, I'm able to take time off to be with my kids and my husband. Um, we're actually in the process of putting in a pool, in-ground pool, everybody. So just wait for the summer. Um, so just being able to do the kinds of things that I really want to do and to provide for my family the way I want to, um, that's what excites me. That's what keeps me going every day, knowing that without this career, we wouldn't be able to do any of this. For sure. For sure. Um, Mindy, uh, can you give us, you know, one little nugget of something technical throughout the demo, whether it be, you know, your approach, your intro, um, buying atmosphere, you know, transition to close, just give us a, a, a quick little, you know, technical nugget. I'd say what I'm best at is my building rapport. Um, I love talking to people and getting to know them. And I think that's why, you know, I'm able to work off the way that I'm working here lately is because I'm really good at building rapport and talking to everybody. So what I'll do is I give to get. So if, what that means is that I talk to every piece of information that somebody gives me, I give them a piece of information in return, whether it's a story from somebody or a little nugget about myself to kind of make them feel more comfortable. Um, so I make sure that each and every person that I sit down with becomes like a friend. Um, that's the biggest thing, because if you don't become what amounts to friends with them and they're not going to trust you, they're not going to trust you with their account number. They're not going to trust you with the most important times in their life. And I want them to call me. I want them to know that, Hey, I'm here for you. And I think that's the most important part. And it starts in the intro. It starts with building rapport with that person. And I think if you get your rapport down, everything else follows. As long as you know your sales talk and you build that rapport with them, everything else comes very much more smoothly. For sure. For sure. Would you mind a role play with me on uh, just building some rapport? Absolutely. Um, so, hey, CJ, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So I recently just talked to another store manager and they told me to come in and talk to you today. Um, how's business been lately? Uh, a little bit slow. A little bit slow. Well, it makes the day go by a little bit slower, doesn't it? For sure. For sure. Awesome. So what I do is I like to sit down and talk to um, all my managers and just get some information from y'all. Um, do you have a place where we can sit down real quick? Yeah. What's this all about? So what we're doing is I'm helping all the employees with things like cancer, heart attack, stroke, and accidents. Um, Michael over at the other store, he really liked what we did and how I worked with the employees. So I wanted to make sure I sat down and talked with you as well, just so I can show you what we're doing and make this available to everybody. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can sit down. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about yourself, CJ. Uh, so I've been here for about four years now, store manager. Um, came from another store, you know, nearby. Um, yeah, everything has is, is been a little bit slower as of right now, but uh, we're definitely probably going to pick it up here pretty soon. Awesome. Awesome. So my name is Mindy Dillon. Like I said, I've been with Family Heritage for about two years now, almost two years. And so tell me, CJ, are you married? Yeah, I am. How long have you been married? Uh, six years. Six years. That's awesome. That's awesome. Any kids yet? uh one and one on the way that's exciting that's exciting I got three myself and let me tell you they'll drive you crazy won't they for sure definitely <laughs> so how old's your how old's your little baby uh your so young, he's uh, five and then um uh, we have a daughter due in June that's exciting so tell me is your son getting into everything at this point everything all the time everything yeah I remember when mine were that young and I tell you what you couldn't keep them off the furniture my son thought he was Superman. Yep. So he was just going everywhere. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Same way with mine. Yeah. So what we do is we help families with things like cancer, heart attack, stroke, and accidents. And then this is where I go into the demo. For sure. That's awesome. That's awesome, Mindy. 
Um, guys, if you're not building, you know, rapport when you first sit down with somebody, man, you, you've got to start doing that. <clears throat> that is really the big, the big determining factor. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So we have to do everybody, you know, the same way, build a ton of rapport up front. It's not always going to be easy. It can be a little bit awkward at times until you're, you know, really used to it and really um, getting into it. But guys, building rapport is key. Everybody thinks that they're not closing because there's something wrong with their clothes or there's something wrong with their demo. But a lot of the times, guys, it's, it's all about the rapport building up front. And man, that just knocks down so many belief or so many barriers with people, so many doors um, that really just gets them to open up and gets them to trust you and trust the product. Um, and that can make it so much easier when closing out demos. And that's why Mindy's been closing so much and, you know, writing so much premium every single week. Um, anybody have any questions, um, takeaways from Mindy so far? DJ, I'll jump in real quick. Um, great questions, by the way. And Mindy, you're a rock star. Um, thinking back through your first couple of weeks in the business, when we talk about, you know, the highs, man, what a feeling that is. But the lows are equally uh, can be disturbing, you know, especially if you're new. What would you tell somebody in the first couple of weeks or tell yourself thinking back through those first couple of weeks? Um, how did you stay grounded? And what were some methods or kind of go-tos during that time? Because, again, we all have them. What were your um, go-tos? My biggest go-to is that I like to reach out to the people around me. Um, I think that's the big thing. I'll reach out to Brandy. I'll reach out to Erica. I've reached out to Kyle. Um, when times start to get really tough and I get in my head, which happens a lot, okay, anybody that tells you differently is in the wrong business. Um, they're not being honest with you or themselves. So I just, I like to reach out and have everybody around me. I have a good support system with them and they'll pick me back up and get me back going. Um, and that's really what's kept me motivated, even when times are tough, because like I said, you get inside your head and it's the hardest place to get out of. So just reach out to those around you and be honest about what you're going through, because if you're not honest about it, then there's not going to be anybody that can help you. So reach out to everybody around you, reach out to, you know, your people, your leaders. Um, that's going to be your best bet is to reach out to your leaders. Um, but yeah, that's what I would recommend. Awesome. Thank you. For sure. For sure. Um, <clears throat> Mindy, I know that you had some, um, some health issues going on that caused you to be out of work for, for, you know, quite a while. Um, what helped you, you know, come back with, you know, a vengeance back on track, you know, just killing it. Um, what really kind of helped motivate you to do that where, you know, most people probably would have hung up the towel at that point. What helped you, you know, come back even stronger? Knowing that I wouldn't find another career quite like this one. Um, we talk about, we have the greatest opportunity in America and it's honestly the truth. We don't say that just to be saying it. We actually believe it. Every single one of us that's been at this for any length of time, we believe it. So knowing that this is the greatest opportunity, that this career is the greatest career, that it gives us so much more. And the more we put into it, the more we get back out of it. So knowing that I can do so much more as part of this career than if I do anything else, that's what kept me motivated. And that's what kept me determined to make this a success. So even after I was down for a while, I knew that if I just studied really hard and got back to where I needed to be, that things would pick back up just the way they always did. I just believe in myself and believe in the sales talk and believe in the product. And if you just believe, you can succeed. For sure. For sure. That's awesome. Minnie. I appreciate you sharing that. Um, anybody have any other questions, takeaways before we wrap up? That I, was just, awesome. <clears throat> I just want to say, guys, just what Minnie just said, you know, we all get in our own heads, right? 
Um, I know that Mindy kind of will reach out to me for certain things. Erica can boost Trump in ways that I can't. Know who that network of people are that you can reach out to. Um, you know, sometimes if Mindy's having a rough day, I'm like, don't you got a pool to pay for? Yep, okay, then we got to get that pool furniture. We got, you know, so just understand that the biggest thing, guys, is communicate to whomever is on your team with you because, like Mindy said, if you're not honest with yourself and honest with us, we do not know how to support you the best. When you tell us what's going on and what you feel is, you know, not necessarily right, that's when we can support you the best because we need y'all just as much as y'all need us because we're all in this together. And I'm so proud of you, Mindy. Thank you, Brandy. She's absolutely right, guys. Please reach out. Don't hesitate. We've all been through it. So you're not alone in this. Um, the thoughts that are going through your head, you're not alone. We've all had them and we've all struggled with them. Me more so than I think a lot of people um, because of my health issues. I really got inside my head as far as that goes. So I really had to lean on my support system um, to get me back in the game and to keep myself motivated. Like she says, she tells me, hey, you've got cool stuff to pay for. And she's absolutely right. So that's the biggest thing is my team, you know, my, my leaders, my friends in this, they know what I'm working towards at all times, because I tell them, hey, I'm working towards my pool stuff. I'm working towards this. And it'll help keep you motivated. So share with every, you know, share with your leaders, share with your buddy that what you're working towards and they'll help keep your head in the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. They can help hold you accountable. And uh, yeah, be on track doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. Awesome. Any, anybody else got anything before we wrap up? Awesome. <clears throat> so, Mindy, uh, I know that you're putting in a pool. Are we all invited to a pool party this summer? You are. We're going to have a great time this summer. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So I'll let everybody know when it's open. <laughs> Heck yeah. Can't wait to cook out and uh, have some fun. So Absolutely. Awesome, Mindy. Thank you so much for being on. You crushed it. Killed it. Keep, keep doing your thing. Keep killing it every week. And uh, sky's the limit for, for Mindy Dillon. So... Alrighty, everybody, we're going to wrap up. Uh, it's Wednesday. Uh, we still got a lot of time left in the week, even if you're having a slow week. You know, a couple couple slow days doesn't break a week. One big day can be all, all that you need. Um, there's a ton of people out there that need what we have. And it's our job to go provide that service to people. It's our job to go help people and and do the right thing, all, all while making a great income and, uh, you know, being a blessing for our own family as well. So... Let's go out there. Let's have some fun today and make somebody smile and uh, go kill it. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Crush it. Nice work. Whoop, whoop.